Hello and welcome to Uniquely Me Crochet. Okay, so today I'm coming to you with a tutorial on how to make crochet earrings using embroidery floss. Embroidery floss would be this kind of, I call it yarn, I always say yarn, but it's floss because it's so thin, but it makes very pretty earrings. These, this is a pair that I made. I have another pair right here that I made and I made a red pair. Oops, there's a red pair. Where's the other one? It fell off. There we go. Okay. And then um, I made a little sample one. I thought those were two colors. I thought that was pretty. Okay, so I'm going to be making an orange pair this time. I'm going to teach you. And I already made one of them, so they're really cute. I can um, show you how they look, just so you can see if you're still interested in making them. See, this is how they look, and you can block block them where they're hard and they won't like bend over or any bend. But they're really cute, you know. And you can make different colors to match your outfits. So okay, I'm gonna just leave it on. So um, let's get started, and um, I'm, I've got my, my embroidery for loss. Go ahead and start unwinding some of it. And the first thing we're going to do is make a magic circle. If you do not know how to make a magic circle, that's fine. Just chain um, six and um, slip stitch and then chain three. So right now, I'm going to take the camera off of me. I'm going to put it on my hand so you can watch me crochet the earrings, okay? Let's get started. Uh, the things you're going to need. Ooh. You're going to need a crochet hook. This one is a 3.75. You can use a smaller one if you'd like. Um, I just like my earrings um, this size, so that's why I'm using the 3.75. You'll also need some hooks like this. Um, uh, there you go. You'll need some hooks like this. And I got these from Michael's Craft Store. Okay. And um, actually to open that hook, to put it onto the earring, I'm using a darning needle. Okay. Because I don't have the um, supplies to open up the little piece. Okay. So let's get started, friends. And you, you'll probably need a pair of scissors as well. All right. Let's go. And um, I'm going to show you one more thing. This is um, what I bought. It's the embroidery floss. And look how many beautiful colors I can make of earrings. You can make bracelets too. There's all kinds of things you can do with this kind of floss. But there's really some pretty colors in here. All right. And I bought that at Michael's as well. Okay. Let's get started. Here we go. So you can see my, finger, my hands. So I've got my crochet hook and the first thing we're going to do let me take these cuffs off off my hands like that okay my hands are free yay so we're gonna the first thing i'm doing a magic circle so wrap once wrap twice wait start over wrap once wrap twice and i do have a magic cir circle video so you can go under my name on youtube and you can learn how to do the magic circle and then i'm going to chain three so once you get your circle chain three and then chain one extra one for chain one okay so you should have your circle i'm gonna what i like about the magic circle is that you can make it smaller you can just pull the string and make it smaller or bigger so you can adjust it it's an adjustable ring. That's what they should have called it. But anyway, um, so now that you have your chain four, you're going to do some double crochets. And you're going to, this counts as one double crochet. So with a chain one, that's why I said chain four. So now we're going to wrap it around and we're going to go in the circle and we're going to do 11 more double crochets. But after each double crochet, you're going to chain one. So I just made one and I'm going to chain one. Okay. So that's one, two. So I'll come back to you after you have 
11 more put in the circle. So I'm going to do one more on camera. Yarn over. Pull up a loop. Yarn over. Go through two loops. Go through two loops. And chain one. Okay? So I'll be back once you have all 11 on here. So total, you'll have 12 because your chain three counts as one. Okay, see you in a few minutes. So you should be having, should be looking like this. All right, don't forget your chain ones. Okay, I'm back and I have my 12 double crochets with chain ones in between them. It should look like this. So once you get there, you're going to pull your um, circle, pull that string, and then you're going to join to make it with a slip stitch to your first one that you made, first double crochet. Okay? So slip stitch right there to make the circle close, to join the circle. There we go. So yours should look like this. Now you're going to you're going to um, chain three, one, two, three, and I'm going to set mine down and I'm going to go ahead and make sure this circle is cinched tight and I'm going to go ahead and put a knot back here so that it won't open up while I'm crocheting. And you do the same. Close yours up. Cinch your circle closed. And then I'm going to cut off the excess. That way it won't get in my way while I'm crocheting. And leave just a little bit so that it won't unravel. Okay? So now we got our chain three. And what we're going to do is put another double crochet in the same hole as the, the same stitch as the double crochet you just made as a chain three. Okay? And then you're going to chain three one two and three and then you're going to go into it's kind of small but you're going to go into the next stitch where your next double crochet is right in the next stitch uh, i'm going to do a couple of them so you'll get to see and you're going to do two of those in the same stitch so you need to put two double crochets in the same stitch then chain three again okay so we're gonna one two three i hope you can see this good so i just chained three again so my next stitch is this is my next double crochet so right there i'm gonna put i'm gonna wrap around and i'm gonna do two double crochets in my next stitch so there's gonna be one and then there's gonna be two okay so it should be looking like that. Now chain three. One, two, three. And wrap around and you're going to go into your next double crochet. Can't go on this one because we already worked in that one. So we're going to go into the next one right here and put two more double crochet in the same stitch. Okay. Then after that, what do we do? We chain three. One, two, three. And then we wrap around and find that next stitch. It's right here. Go ahead and put it in there. All right, so I think you guys got the hang of it. So I am going to finish up the rest and come back when I'm complete. All right, all, once I go all the way around. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, I'm back, and you should be working yourself all the way around. Um, I just finished my last double crochet right here. I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And I'm going to connect it to my very first double crochet to make a ring. There we go. And then I'm going to chain three again. One, two, three. Okay, so yours should be looking like this. Okay, so this is our last row. And um, then we'll be done. So what you're going to do now 
is you're going to slip stitch right here into, okay, see all these spaces, the big spaces? That's where we're going to be working, only in the big, large spaces, okay? So that should help you. You're going to slip stitch into the big space, so slip stitch, and then you're going to chain three. One, two, three. So it should look like that. And then you're going to do three double crochets together. So that's one. You chain over, you yarn over, go yarn over, go through two, then yarn over again, go in, pull up, yarn over, go through two. And then you're going to have four on your hook. You're going to yarn over and go through all four. And then you're going to chain three. One two three and in that very same space you're going to slip stitch okay so once you slip stitch it should look like this look rounded okay like a scallop okay so now your next step you're going to slip stitch into the next space slip stitch into the next space chain three one two three and then you're going to do three double crochets together if you don't know how to do three double crochets together you might need to look it up on youtube it's just putting three together and then you're going to go through all four of those and you're going to chain three one two three then you're going to go right back into that same space and slip stitch because that's what's going to give you that little rounded edge for your earring okay so it should be looking like this see those two rounded edges it's the way it should be looking i'll do a couple more on camera um and then i'll meet you when we get to the end of the earring okay all right so we're going to slip stitch to the next space we're going to chain three one two three then we're going to do three together three double crochets one two and three sorry about the loud truck outside and then we're going to chain three one two three and slip stitch in the same space okay i'm going to do one more but this is how it's looking see it's pretty all right we're going to slip stitch into that big space we're going to chain three one oops one two three and then we're going to do three double crochets together so one it's like a, a incomplete double crochet. You wrap it around. You only go through two of them. Then you wrap it around again, go through the space, grab up, wrap it around, and only go through two. And then when you have four left on your hook, you wrap around and you go through all four. Then you chain three. One, two, and three. And then you're going to slip stitch back into that same space to make the scallop edge. Okay. All right. I've got quite a few more to go and so do you. So we'll meet up towards the end. Okay. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, when I'm done with my scallop edges and um, what I wanted to tell you when you got to the end, if you chain three, I just connected mine to the top right here. Okay. So what you're going to do next is you're going to take your, um, you can cut your, you can close it off, seal it, go ahead and um, fasten off and you can actually, there's a little, okay. You can tie your little knot at the top and then you can either sew in your edge, your, um, not sew your edge, I'm sorry. You can sew in your, ends, that's what I mean. 
sometimes I get tongue tied. Okay, but I think you guys know what I meant, especially if you're a crocheter. If you're not, I apologize. Um, okay, so there we go. We sewed it in. So now you can't see where it was. I'm going to tie a little knot back here so it doesn't come loose. I'm just tying a little knot. You won't even see it because it's on the back of the earring and this yarn is so thin. I mean, I'm going to do another one just to make sure. Just to secure it. Because we don't want to have done all that hard work and then our earring comes loose. That would be sad. All right, so next we're going to, I don't have the proper tools to open this hook. But they do sell the proper tools at Michael's Craft Store and Joann's. So I'm just using my darning needle. I'm going to turn it a little bit, see, to get it open. That's what I use, my darning needle. And so now you place it wherever you want your earring to be at. I'm going to just put mine right here. And then, of course, if I had the proper tools, I would close it up. But um, let me try to close it. There, I closed it. I'm not going to tell you how, but you get the proper tools at the store. Okay, so now that we've done that, your earring is done. I hope you like it. And I'm back, and I'm going to put on the other one so you can see how they both look. And I think they're really pretty. Now, if you want them hard and blocked, I can tell you, you can do um, half glue and half water and you spray them and let them sit for out in the sun or sit um, for a day or two and then they'll be dry. But you don't have to really wait that long. You can probably use a blow dryer and dry them because they're so, you know, small. But aren't they pretty? Guys, I hope you make these. They're really pretty. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I'm new at making tutorials, um, jewelry tutorials, and I'm trying to get used to it. So if you have any suggestions or anything that I need to do better, please let me know. I'm, I'm open to um, some nice criticism. Don't be mean. And... Um, I'll see you next time for the next tutorial. Okay, bye-bye friends.